Hello Guardians, it is Ebontus here, and I wanted to... Hello Guardians, it is Ebontus here, and this is going to be a video for Ascendant Challenge number 4. So this is called the Keep of Hone Edges. This is the one with the sword that you have to pick up, take out some uh, big knights and kind of get out of there in a big, big hurry, and some of the platforms will be dropping on you. Um, so, you're going to want some things of range, and I'm running with the horror story. May not be the most efficient, but also got a sniper and sleeper, so it's really up to you. Uh, but the big thing is, once you pick up the sword, you'll be using that to smash the enemies, but you want to hold on to the sword and make sure and take it with you. Now, if you guys want to jump ahead just to the actual playthrough of it, timestamps are listed below so you guys can use those. Um, jump ahead to that section. Otherwise, you guys can follow me along for the location and explanation of kind of two different ways to get up in there. So where we're going to be going is way in the back of Ray Sylvia, pretty much as far back as you can. So jump on your sparrow, and let's ride. Now as you guys are driving, uh, I did want to say thank you guys. We're almost at 23,000 subs, so thank you, thank you very much. The support has been awesome. Um, kind of blown away as of late. You guys have been just continuing to crush it. So thank you all for the support. Um, especially these Ascendant Challenge videos seem to be pretty popular. But even just our podcast that Lord Cognito and I do... That one's cranking up as well. So if you haven't, haven't checked that one out, look up Flashpoint. T and I talking about the world of Destiny and pretty much everything going on for the week. And then some speculation probably as well. So once you guys get up into Ray Sylvia, I usually kind of take this weird little drive here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you can kind of hit this edge, by the time you go over the ramp, you should be able to stay in there. Maybe not. <laughs> Psych. If you also didn't see, there's an invisible portal way towards the top. So actually, I'll show that to you guys since I'm going by. So this looks like this will be one of the uh, chest locations. So you'll notice as I'm going here, I have my tincture of queen's foil. Heads up, there's probably a chest up there, but I will do that those in a separate video. Haven't done all the chest videos. I know other people have. Uh, if you do want to see like all the locations for taking curse week three for like the secret chest and stuff, let me know. I can do that. I just know there's others out there, but sometimes you can go. you guys enjoy my version. So you guys tell me. Apparently there's something insane going on here between the Taken and that giant, giant hive guys. I'm just going to try and skip that. Uh, if you're on your Sparrow, drive on by. Sadly, I had like a really clean run with my Sparrow earlier and I didn't hit record. Joys of being a video creator and having flubs like that will definitely make you facepalm. Trust me. But as you work your way through, head on to the back. And once you see Harbringer Seclude, you guys know you're going into the correct location. You don't jump, you won't, or if you don't double jump, you won't wake up quite as many of the enemies. I mean, if they see you, they'll be mad at you. But if you just run by, they'll be a little less aggressive until you get pretty close. So keep jumping, come through here. Got to run pretty much straight up the middle. It's really not too bad. There might be a few straggling enemies out here, but nothing major. Now, there are two ways to get in here. So once I clear out the ads, I'll kind of put both options in here for you guys. Um... Again, don't double jump. They'll see you and wake up. But if you run by, they won't be too much of an annoyance. Uh, they may shoot me from the top up there. And if they do, I'll just try and avoid them. So once you get down here, we'll kill these few adds. A couple goblins doing some shielding, which is always fun yet annoying. Come here, dude. I just want to show you guys all the stuff you need to know. Man, some of these whip em enemies really are pansies. Okay, so there are two ways to get up to the portal. You can see it up at the top up there. I've already popped my Tincture of Queen's Foil. If you haven't, I would pop it here. But I would wait until you get here, so you have plenty of time. But the idea is, you'll notice you got the platform over there you can jump on. You'll basically make a big circle. So I can show you guys that. Pretty easy to jump around. They're pretty straightforward to get to. Makes you have a little bit of height on your jumps. A few of these you have to get some elevation on. This is the easy way to get to, so you don't have to make some tricky jumps. Um, if you guys want to see the other one, I'm going to stick it at the very end of the video. So you guys can check that one out if you want to see the, um, statue jumping. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump on in. Alright, Guardians, so once you jump in here, I'm going to try and do this in time trial fashion as quickly as I can. So I'll be talking as I jump. Basically, what you're going to do is run to the middle, shoot the enemies that are there, and then... When the enemies are down, you'll have three knights kneeling. Once the shield on the sword goes away, pick up the sword. My advice is to... Uh, that was kind of a lucky jump because those pl platforms are rotating. Uh, come to one of these three that look like they have a coffin with a sheet over it. And then do the fight from here. You can do it fairly quickly. Um, so definitely work on what you can. 
So I'm going to try and snipe these guys as quick as I can. So try and take out the wizards if I can before they get their uh, shields down. Going to have a few acolytes around, so watch for those. You can punch them if you're high enough level. It's really not so bad. Wizards are still floating around since I didn't kill them, of course. Just use something energy to drop their shield. They'll go down fairly quick. Honestly, if you're going for the time trial, you might even need to pop your super here. Just make things a little bit quicker and easier. Uh, but from here, looks like I've got one more wizard to go. And we're good. So that should be the adds. Pick up the sword. Back out of there quickly. You're going to have some adds that spawn. You could work on clearing these adds out really quickly. Um, but most of them will be coming to you. So my advice is the big knight that's going to come to you is going to be a little slower than the thrall. So knight's going to come up here. Maybe. Or he's just going to get psyched out. Now, if you're powerful enough, you can take these guys out pretty quick. Now, I can do that because I'm at 595 or 598 or something like that. If you're lower level, that is going to hurt a little bit more. But once two of them have spawned, you're going to have both big knights coming to you. And then once they start to do that, you can actually take them from up here a little bit easier. Now, once they come up here, my advice is see if you can get them in line. So see if you can stagger them both, and then get them trying to line up at you. And I wasted my super there, but that's fine. Now, you don't want to die, so be careful about that. See if I can finish him off without dying. All right, he's down, which will finish your enemies. So again, use the sword as quick as you can, run to the middle, and then he's just got to tell you where your exit is. So hit the dot. It's going back... Looks like this way, so you'll see the portal you need to get to. And he's going to kind of guide you, so just be careful as your path is not clear. But also, these little geode platforms will tend to disappear after a little while, so be careful with those. And just depending on where you're... Whoa. And again, watch for those things that move. So your path will likely not be smooth as you're coming towards each of the platforms. Just be ready. No, 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 no. Oh, really? I mean, I can cover some ground. I don't think I can save it, though. Well, we can go ahead and fall now. Sad face. All right. Well, that is how you don't do it. But you guys can also hopefully see. I'm going to switch my guns real quick just because I want to kill some of the stuff faster. Um, so that's the platform way. I'm going to show you guys the somewhat harder but a bit more direct route so you don't have all the jumping to do. So when you jump up here, you want to find this little taken egg guy, and you want to basically try and land on that. It's not the easiest thing to do. That's why I say the platforms are simpler. But if you guys want to see this one, hopefully this helps you. Once you kind of land up there, I'm just going to die a few times. That's perfect. How long do I have? Seven minutes. All right. Seven minutes to go. Jump on up. And this is the other way to get up here. Basically, it's a weird jump. Got to have some height to one of those. Definitely, you can actually clamber up that one. And then we're going to go in the portal and try and do this again as fast as possible. Now, you may not always enter in the same section. Again, there's three varieties, so keep that in mind. And again, just try and get in here as quick as you can. I'm going to pop my super this time to try and take out the ads and see if I can actually get the time trial done. Just because I seem to be having an issue trying to get that thing accomplished. Notice some of these platforms will rotate. So depending on what you're going for, just be aware. So super time. I'm going to go for the wizards this way. Hopefully killing most of the ads if I can help kill the wizard. All right, that should be most. Try and find your few stragglers that you've got. Really, where are these guys? I need speed here. Come on, show me your faces. Got like one sitting here behind a pillar. And hopefully that's it. All right. Nope, not all. So annoying. There. All right. Grab your sword. Try this again for round two. Whichever one you pick, just pick one of these little coffin areas. I like to slam a couple of the ads. 
and then pull him to you. Again, if he comes back this way, a little bit easier, more manageable. Now, if you push him back, he may run away from the grenade. But remember, he's definitely going to hurt. Now, you can slam him usually pretty solid and quick. Now, if you kill him, it, my advice truly really is to come back here, pull some of these adds to you. And then you want both of these guys to come straight at you. It's going to make life a little bit easier. Hopefully the Thrall come first, but if they don't, try and slam one. Try and line some of these guys up. And then, if you can put them in line, try and super both of them. Finish them pretty quick. And then at that point, run to the center, hit the dot, and we'll see where it's going. Again, the Tolan piece of lore is probably down below if you are going for that. Don't do it for a time trial. Where did he tell me to go? Portal's going to be that way. Looks like that's my safe bet over here for Guidance. Sword can help you cover some ground if you get in a tough spot. And we're going to try this again. Just don't stay on any platform long because you never quite know if that's the one that's going to disappear on you or not. I would advise you if you do have crazy rocks flying over your head to uh, just be careful. If you see stuff fly by, you probably have a few seconds to get to where you're going. Try not to miss your landing like I did. And then proceed forward. You're going to get to a point where you're going to have to jump on some statue that's broken, potentially if you go in different ways. Just remember, use your sword if you get in a tough spot. May actually save you a little bit. I got to see if I can get up and around this thing. This is not going to help my time trial run, but hopefully this will help finish this crazy run. Well, yeah, use the sword. It might just save your butt. You never know. But there is a chest that will be at the end of this. Go ahead and open it up. That will go ahead and tick your bounty. And then however you got to get out of here, this could be the little statues that you have to jump on. But whatever you got to do, jump on out. And I still have to work on this Triumph for speed. But that is the general rundown. You guys got to see it basically twice. Um, so once you're here on the bridge, you have the platforms to go up on. And as you're exiting, that's the tough part. Toughest part. Uh, you have to keep the sword, so don't drop. If you drop it, make sure you pick it back up if you're shooting enemies from range. If you're not going for the time trial, you can take a lot of time in there. Um, and then when if you're running with multiple people, make sure you don't pop the chest until they are all there. That is the key. Um, they all need to be there because if you pop the chest and somebody didn't make the jumps or the platforms disappeared and they died, you need to wait for them. So just be aware of that. Don't open it hoping somebody else is going to get it because they have to open that chest for the bounty. Uh, but that is Ascendant Challenge number four. Uh, that is going to be the Keep of Honed Edges. Honed Edges, hence referencing to your sword. And hope that guide helps you out. Um, whatever your level, if you are lower, those platforms that I am standing on with the little coffin with a blanket over it, basically you can use those as almost a wall. So if you smash one of the, the ground and the knight will take the damage, just keep kind of doing a circle around that thing and smash the ground and you can actually hit the knight on the other side and survive. Now, if you feel like you're getting overrun, just literally jump across to the staircase and go wait to on another one of those platforms for things to run over to you. Kind of spaces some of the guys out and you get some damage and kind of space everything, make it a little easier to manage. But overall, that is the general run. Hopefully this does help you guys out. I know the death is in there, but some of you guys enjoy laughing at those or just seeing that, you know, deaths happen, you can still go in there. But thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you can follow me on Twitch or Twitter. I'm Ebontis on both. And right here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. You can um, also hit that alert bell. Just keeps me in your feed. Gives you kind of notifications when new videos come. And I just want to say again, thank you. The support has been awesome. The growth of the channel has been kind of amazing. So thank you again. And just um, keep it coming. So if you got any questions, leave a comment below. Say hey. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Definitely helps me out as well. Have an awesome one. I will see you guys soon. And other than that, uh, enjoy the week. And definitely go check out the Shattered Throne. I'm going to be looking to do some videos in there as well. Have yourself an awesome day. See you later.